going to talk about active seating and why a chair like this, with its activity in the back, gives uh, a good opportunity for the child to be more active. The upper body of the child and the lower body of the child is uh, balanced around the pelvis and the hips. So if we have a good stability, we have a good balance in the whole body. If we have stability and balance around the hips here. So the important thing is to, in a chair, keep the child good seated around the hips and the pelvis. Then you will have the opportunities in the upper body as well as in the lower body. In seating, you can talk about symmetrical seating or asymmetrical seating. If you look for symmetrical seating, you, would, you can gain stability. If you look for activity, it's, it's important that you give the child the possibility to be asymmetrical, which is also a good opportunity in this B track and dino chairs. <clears throat> when you have activity in, within the child, you affect the sensory system. When the child moves in the child, you would have uh, an impact on the vestibular system, and when the vestibular system is affected, it also influences the proprioceptive and the, the um, tactile system. So the whole sensory system would also be affected in active seating. Another good benefit is that when you're active, um, your arousal will be higher. And when your arousal is higher, you get more movements and you get more activity. And arousal is affected by movements and activity. So movements and activity should also be available in seating. Tone is also affected by the arousal and the other way around, arousal is affected by tone. So, Tone increases typically when arousal is, is um, uh, influenced. So uh, all in all, you have so many benefits from active seating. Thank you for your time.